joint practice number two with the Green Bay Packers is in the books. Hi, everybody. Todd Graffinini with you along with Aaron Summers. We are live at Lambeau Field as the New Orleans Saints prepare for preseason game number two against Green Bay on Friday night. But Aaron, first things first, it was a good sign today as practice number two took place across the street at the practice facility for the Packers. And the first thing that everybody noticed was quarterback Jameis Winston for the Saints was in full pads and did things we did not see him do on Tuesday. Winston's been working back from that right foot sprain that he had last week. He didn't make the trip to Houston, stayed back for treatment, and it was because he wanted to get some time here on the field. He was able to do that today. He went through walkthrough with the team, all of the first team reps there, and then he was able to participate in stretching and individual drills throughout the day. So really good sign for his progression on getting back on the field, although head coach Dennis Allen did confirm that he is not going to see any time in Friday night's game. All right, as far as the action today, a little bit shorter as the practice Tuesday went very long, not as long here today. And what did we see, Aaron, in practice number two? It was a little more spirited today. Yes. There were a, a couple of little skirmishes, maybe about three. Some players had to leave the field, but that's what's going to happen when you see the same team two days in a row. Got a little hotter today. I think that translated onto the field a little bit. But one area that did stand out was the offensive line. There were a couple players that did not participate today at all, and Landon Young, Young and Andrews Pete. Without them on the field, Ryan Ramchek was getting the day off as well. They were already pretty depleted on the line. Line. And then we saw an injury to James Hurst. Coach Dennis Allen said it was a foot injury. We don't know the severity of it, severity of it yet. And then it did look at sometimes that Trevor Penning was dealing with something as well. But here's head coach Dennis Allen on today's practice and that O-line. Again, a lot of good work today. It's a little hotter today than it was yesterday. You know, we got a little light on the offensive line uh, today down there, um, you know, on the offensive side and, and uh, they, they got a really good front, and so it led to some, some challenges in terms of protection. But I thought our guys fought. I thought our guys battled through. Um, you know, a couple of guys took a ton of snaps. Uh, Lewis Kidd, um, Trevor Penning, like those guys took a ton of snaps, and, and, uh, and I saw some good things. So uh, it was good work again today. Well, Aaron, the Saints defense has been going up against a Hall of Fame quarterback in Aaron Rodgers the last couple days. It's invaluable experience for the Saints, D, because Aaron Rodgers isn't going to play Friday night in the preseason game, so you've got to get your reps in as they did the last two days. With as good as the Saints defense has been and will be this season, a lot of our projected starters won't play on Friday night either, especially linebacker Demario Davis, who is still trying to be a leader for this group. And he said it's been nice to be able to have some of these first team reps here in Green Bay. You talked about the benefit of going up against somebody like Aaron Rodgers. Oh man, I mean, you're talking about a guy um, that's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, one of those epic battles, it only makes you better, you know, to have opportunity to practice against guys like that. I know, you know, what it did for my game when I first came here for the New Orleans Saints, getting a chance to go against Drew Brees, a Hall of Fame quarterback. You have to relish these moments um, because you can learn so much. Um, I'm a firm believer. Uh, it is written in the word, iron, iron sharpens iron. And so when you have to have the opportunity to go good on good, it's only going to make you better. You know, you just find find kind of what he likes, what he's looking for, why he's looking for those things. Uh, it just gives you a, a, a competitive edge. And so, um, you know, we had a good, uh, a good chance to top it up. There's mutual respect on both sides. Uh, his unit, our unit, their unit, our unit. Um, you know, just good football has been good practice this week. Well, Aaron, as we watch practice, of course, they're on split fields. I focused on the Saints offense today, and for my mind, it was Chris Olave who had the best day offensively, including a 40-yard catch over the shoulder on a fourth down. Great pass from Andy Dalton, but Chris Olave, to me, had the best day of any Saints offensive player. And here's head coach Dennis Allen talking about Chris Olave the last couple days. Yeah, he caught uh, a deep ball today, um, which was outstanding to see. I think it was on a fourth down play. Um, and put us down there in the in the red area. What I've seen out of him in the last couple of days, I've seen some speed, I've seen some transition at the top of the route, and I've seen him catch the football. Um, 
I thought he took a step forward in these in these last two practices. Alave did have a really good day. Somebody who stood out at the end of practice, tight end Lucas Kroll, is developing a little bit of a rhythm with quarterback Ian Book, and he took a massive hit and held on to the ball. So definitely stood out, and he was able to get into the end zone later in that drive. No question about it, Aaron. Well, that's all the time we have for this show. Tomorrow, which will be Thursday, it is our preview show of preseason game number two between your New Orleans Saints and the Green Bay Packers from Lambeau Field. It'll be Friday night at 7 p.m.